Okay, and I hope it's helpful for the, especially for the holiday season. Um, so I do have a message for you. Uh, when I was shuffling out the cards, I saw this um, this little kid standing in front of this magic fountain, and he throws a really shiny uh, coin into the water, and he makes a wish. And I, I think the boy is like three or four, maybe four or five, three year olds. I don't think that they, they understand the concept, but like four or five, six years old. It's a really young child, and he's like praying really, really hard for something. And then it cuts away, and then I see you as an older adult, like probably 35. You come back to this fountain, and you're looking around at the fountain, and you're looking at all the pennies that people have thrown into the fountain over the years. And you're just like, people are so silly. It's just a penny, and it's just a regular fountain. Why would people think it's magical? So... I think this reading deals with the passage of time. And I think this reading deals more with, you know, uh, the things that we kind of uh, idealize when we were children and the, the, the reality that we create for ourselves when we were younger versus what we're faced with right now. And I feel like for some of you, um, there's this element here about, you know, when you're younger, you felt like life was endless, okay? There's this sense of mortality or immortality that we kind of believe in when we're young, that we're always going to be able to make more money, so just spend it while the going gets, um, it, it's, it's hot, we'll just spend all the money. And then I feel like, you know, as you get older, it is a little bit harder to come by options kind of narrow down and the financial the financial abundance it might be restricted and i feel like for some of you when you were young if you were single if you were a bachelor or a bachelorette and you know you were only living for yourself so the money kept coming in there was a lot of financial abundance but as you get older you might be bogged down with mortgage house and children and pets and you know um, things breaking down in the house, repairs that you have to um, anticipate or plan for, and just the, the overall expenses of daily life catches up to us. And now we're trying to um, conserve our spending or be more conservative with our spending. And I feel like times have really changed, okay? And... It's kind of telling you to open your eyes and wake up to this reality that whatever came in abundantly, appreciate it, and really, you know, count your blessings because it might not be there tomorrow. And I feel like this is all encompassing other areas of your life, not just finances. This is about the people that come into your life. They're there for a reason. They're there to show you things. They're there to enrich your lives and make the experience a lot uh, better. And I feel like for some of you, there might have been situations where you might not have counted your blessings or you might not have appreciated the, 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 the person while they were there. And now that they're not there, you feel this lack of, of their presence, okay, and uh, and I feel like it's taken you many, many years to realize this, and so I see you at a point where you're trying to reach out to this person, and I, I feel like this is somebody from the distant past. Um, it, it has taken you many, many years to realize that they were quite special, and things, for whatever reason, things ended, but I feel like you always look back at that situation with fond memories. And I feel like you always, um, you might have been wanting to reach out or you might have reached out. And for whatever reason, I, I feel like they're no longer in the picture. And I'm also seeing, you know, like a lot of wasteful spending in the past. And now you're a little bit more cautious, which is great. Um, but I, I also feel like, I always feel like you are kind of like living in the past, reliving that moment where you were on top of the world, where when money was really, really good or when you had a lot of financial abundance. 
and for whatever reason that's where your emotional state is at it's not in the present it's not grounded in the present and i feel like if you're not living in uh in a grounded way where you are taking stock of what you presently have it's really hard to manifest more okay so pull back your energy anchor yourself in the present moment and whatever it is that you're hoping to achieve you need to start in the present okay you can't dig up the past you can't you can't like relive it so it's really important for you to start manifesting start working start building from where you are right now and look at the practical choices that are surrounding you right now and work from there um, I feel like there's a new job coming through for many of you. And this is something that you've been waiting for a really long time. And I also feel like this is the job that is going to provide a lot of financial stability for you. And for those of you who are dealing with financial issues, I feel like this might solve your problems. Okay. It doesn't seem to me like it's a, it's a pipe dream. It doesn't seem to me like it's something that is too good to be true. I feel like it is stable and solid and you definitely can build upon it. What I have here is the Ace of Coins. This is the Ace of Pentacles, new work coming into the picture. And um, it usually indicates to me like some type of a nine to five regular type of a job where you have a fixed schedule, you have a fixed routine, you have a salary, you have, you know, fixed work hours. And it's actually really, really good because I feel like Every year it grows incrementally, you know, so um, you might get like a pay increase um, 12 months from now and then 12 months from that date you get another pay increase. Your position, um, your title rises, so does the responsibility, but either way you're getting commensurate um compensation for your skills okay so I, I definitely feel you're you have something that is worth building on and you have something that is going to grow over time so you're in a place where it's actually going to solve a lot of your financial concerns okay it's a really really stable job that many of you are um, it, I feel like it's landing on your lap but I definitely feel many of you um, have been trying to manifest this. So there is definitely good news coming in on the financial front. I also see some of you, you've worked really tirelessly. You show up here as the magician, which is somebody with a lot of skills, a lot of expertise, and somebody can tell you one piece of information and you're able to make connections really fast between all the different I guess components so they tell you one thing and you're able to make connections and create this web of knowledge for yourself and because of that they see the potential in you they see your intelligence and they're able to give you a pay increase so things are looking really good right now so even if you have been struggling or if you have been you know trying to find that right fit or not really sure how you are performing I feel like you're you're getting some really good recognition on the financial front um, I still feel that you need to be very conservative with your spending okay try to cut back try to um, try to change your diet I'm seeing there's something here about consumption um, the things that you are putting in your body, just make sure, you know, you can find other ways or, or cheaper ways to do that or even um, better, healthier ways to take care of yourself. Um, and I feel that many of you are at a point where you do want to, you know, um, switch up your diet. You want to be healthier. You want to be more fit. Um, you want to kind of like reverse the, the signs of aging is, is what I'm seeing um wanting to take better care of yourself because you want to last longer okay i hope that makes sense i know that sounds weird but you want to um, take care of yourself because you want to live longer and so i definitely feel the passage of time here and i definitely feel like you're growing older and wiser you're more aware of your spending habits. You're more aware of what you're putting in your body. You're more aware that you want to be fit. You want to be nimble. You want to, you know, be um, active 
for your overall well-being. I see many people are, you know, going back to the gym uh, and rolling in possibly like a dance lesson, Zumba, doing something where you are more active on your feet and lifting weights, trying to lose weight, trying to get yourself fit and trying to just stay healthy. Um, and definitely changing your diet, okay? Trying to do, do things that will um, allow you to have better health, which I, I feel like it's something that's long overdue on Sensing. And I feel like, you know, you're actively taking the steps to do so. I do see a lot of you are cutting back on drinking, which is great. I'm also seeing um, a lot of people, I feel like paying off debts, okay, paying off debts. So it could be a car, it could be a house, it could be taking out a loan and then, then you're like on your last few payments just so you can pay off that loan, paying off credit card debt, paying off whatever debt um, you're successfully able to take care of that, which is really, really nice. Um, we have Jupiter, I believe it is exiting your sign going into Sagittarius. And I feel like, you know, the past nine months, um, finances, um, started to look up for many of you, but you're kind of like still at the, the beginning of that trajectory. And I feel like for the next two years, things will continue to look up. Um, I'm also sensing as well, if you have recently started a new job, um, you're going to start to get along. It, it takes time, but you're going to start to open up and, and you're going to start to, you know, feel a little bit more at home or at ease or more comfortable in the work environment that you're in. Uh, you're going to get more support. I feel like this new work environment, people are not so um, friendly and chatty. I feel like they're a little bit more serious, but so they might not be as friendly and outgoing, but they're very, very serious about their work. Um, they're not catty, they're not snippy, they they don't, I feel like they don't gossip as much. So if you've had, you know, troubles with the past co-workers in past work environment, I feel like this new work environment is a little bit more harmonious, people keep to themselves. So they're not as, as friendly, but I feel like, you know, they're nice people, ethical, they get their work done, and you're going to start to socialize and open up to these people. Um, I do see major, major uptick for the next two weeks when it comes to your finances. The next two weeks, the next two months when it comes to your finances. And I feel like you're going to be really, really happy with the new trajectory of our, your life. Um, I see some of you have recently left behind like marriages recently. Um, and what I'm seeing is um, I feel like the past two months, something something was severed, something final. It was, it, it was almost like that moment of finality, you know, that ax on the chopping block. Something was severed, this cord of attachment between you and another person. And I feel like you were, some of you were dealing with somebody that was a huge financial drain on you. They might have used your resources or, you know, you, you spent a lot of time giving them a lot of energy and you didn't have the energy to do anything else. And so in a way they blocked you financially, they blocked your financial blessings. And so I definitely see that, that clear severance, that um, cutting off that energetic cord or that cord of attachment between you and the other person. And you don't even care at this point. Like, I don't care what they're up to. I don't care, you know, what they're doing. It doesn't matter to me because I'm moving on. And so you've got your eyes on the price and you're marching forward. Um, I also feel as well, I'm, I'm sensing that many of you have recent, like you, you hung on to a situation because it's secure. It felt like familiar. I don't feel like it was the most secure thing. And I feel like you yourself knew it wasn't the most stable, the most secure things. And I feel like this might have been the past four months. And I felt like you held on to it because it was familiar. Okay. So let's not mix the two up. Familiar is not always secure. I think like, you know that, but sometimes emotionally, you might not know that. 
And so I, I definitely see you're seeing the situation for what it is. It was familiar. I felt familiar with it or I felt comfortable with it because it was, you know, it felt like it, it felt stable, but it wasn't very stable. And I, once again, it's like that little boy looking at this magic fountain versus the adult you looking at this fountain. And it's like, what was I thinking? You know, what was I thinking? I thought it was magical. I thought it was a lot better than it actually was. And now as an adult or, you know, with the, the, the wool pulled over my eyes, I didn't see it for what it was. And so you have a lot more mental clarity, I feel, coming through. And you're able to move away from it. So emotionally, you're able to move on. If in the past you've been emotionally clinging on to a situation, a person, a job even, or like the way something should play out, like you were very fixated on a specific outcome, I feel like you're moving away from that and you're gradually um, coming to the realization that it wasn't all it's cracked up to be. And you're also coming to the realization as well that, you know, I need to take better care of my health. I need to take better care of my financial situation. Um, I see many of you are taking the right steps towards paying off debt, which is, I, I feel, the responsible thing to do. And so you're on this upward trajectory. And sooner or later, the financial situation is going to smooth them, uh, will smooth itself out. And you're not going to have to worry, okay? Um, I'm not seeing so much, you know, love and, and things like that, but I feel many of you are dating. Whenever I see the magician, I, I think somebody who's going on dates, okay, having cocktails, listening to music, enjoying the ambience and enjoying like being the center of attention. So I definitely feel like uh, date nights, having opportunities for socializing and going out. And what I have here, page of wands, this is invitation from friends, from crushes, from people around you wanting you to connect with them. Um, be a little bit careful about excessive drinking. Okay, just be a little bit careful about that. I have the temperance card. This is moderation when it's in the reverse. It's, so, it's almost like overdoing things. And um, if you have, for example weight loss goals, or even just personal goals for yourself. This can indicate a minor setback. So just be careful. And I also feel like a minor financial setback if you're overindulging, over buying, and overdoing things. So um, keep that in mind. What I have here is somebody that you are waiting on or leaving behind. Like It's like you're waiting on or you are waving goodbye to. I have here an earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. And I feel almost like there was a time when you idealized this person, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And then I also feel like this is a person that loves animals, okay? Um, they show up right here, Queen of Pentacles, and there's that little animal right there next to her. So this is somebody that you might have really idealized and this is somebody that you might be hearing from because we are in the midst of Mercury retrograde and we have the propensity to hear from exes and things like that or communicate with exes. Um, and I definitely feel like somebody is reaching out to say hello, um, but you emotionally you're, you're done. And then I have an air sign, an Aquarius, a Gemini or a Libra. This is somebody I feel like you have a great deal of respect for and emotionally they, they put you in a place where you were, where you weren't sure where you stand with them or where you stood with them. They, they, you weren't sure how to reach out or you weren't sure how your messages will be received. I also feel like you are moving away from that as well. And I also feel like, you know, you're starting over. You're, dating, you're having a good time, you're taking care of things and, and focusing a lot more on self-improvement in general. And so I feel like as we round out this year, the energy is for you to, you know, get your foundation in order, your financial foundation, your career, your achievements, get everything lined up and start the next year in a more grounded, stable, and, you know, as well, living in the present moment not pining for the past, 
not walking down memory lane, but really ground yourself in the moment, take care of things that are immediately in front of you. And I feel like it's just going to make you a lot happier. Okay. Don't live with the, with the regrets from the past. Um, just focus on the moment and, you know, build up this new job, this new opportunity for wealth, because I feel that it's going to make you really, really happy. 